A Montclair, New Jersey teacher is turning a troubling encounter he went through decades ago into a life lesson for his students now. CBS 2's Andrea Klein Thomas introduces us to the teacher who makes space for everyone to be welcomed. For 52 years at Glenfield Middle School, Daniel Gill has taught the whole child well beyond a specific subject. One of my jobs is to take complex ideas and make them meaningful to kids. In the 80s, during a lesson for Martin Luther King Jr. Day, Mr. Gill shared a story about a birthday party he tried to attend at nine years old with his friend, Archie. The woman who is the mother opened the door and said that I could go in, but that Archie couldn't because there were no more chairs. It was the 1950s, and Archie is black. I said, no problems, I'll, I'll sit on the floor. And she said to me, no, I didn't understand. There are no more chairs. Stunned, they left the party. But that's why, as a teacher, Mr. Gill always leaves an empty chair open in his classroom. I put a chair in my classroom so that anybody who comes to my classroom, filled with anticipation, like a party, will feel welcome. The chair is more than a symbol. It's a guiding principle for Mr. Gill, who helped integrate the school and now leads with empathy as students navigate the educational and emotional toll of the pandemic. It keeps us anchored. And so sometimes when, you know, we get distracted and, you know, politics get in the way or, you know, we hyper focus on something that's not as important, Mr. Gill can always bring us back. Generations of students have heard the story, but when Mr. Gill recounted it during a book pitch launch competition, my mouth dropped open and I was like, because <laughs> you know, this is a book. A book that will be dedicated to Archie. Not all of us can become president, not all of us can become senators, but if all of us do our, our, our due diligence and how we treat other people, then this will be a better world. After losing touch for decades, Mr. Gill just learned his childhood friend Archie passed away last year. But now Mr. Gill plans to reach out to Archie's daughter, hoping she can be a part of the process of telling their story. From Montclair, New Jersey, Andrea Klein Thomas, CBS 2 News.